The RK-360MC Neptune, also known as Neptune, is a Ukrainian anti-ship missile system. It was developed by the Lutch Design Bureau. It uses a 360 anti-ship cruise missile. It is a Ukrainian version of the Russian KH-35U. The Ukrainian missile is generally similar to the KH-35U but has a longer body with more fuel, a larger booster, and some other modifications. This missile was first announced in 2013. The first examples were reportedly completed and tested in 2016. At the time, this missile reportedly lacked a guidance system. This missile has a range of up to 280 kilometers. It could be carried and launched from naval, land, and air platforms. The development of the Neptun land-based anti-ship missile system was completed in 2019. Ukrainian military trials were completed in 2020, and 2021 a pre-production system was delivered to the Ukrainian military for testing. In 2021, Ukrainian MOD funded the production of a batch of Neptun coastal defense systems. It was planned that a batch of 18 to 19 launcher vehicles will be delivered in 2022. Ukrainian military plans to obtain a total of 54 to 90 Neptune launcher vehicles with missiles. Some sources report that before the collapse of the Soviet Union, there were plans to produce the KH-35 missiles in Ukraine. However, missile development predated the end of the Cold War and the collapse of the Soviet Union. As a result, the KH-35 never entered Soviet service and was first produced in Russia only in the mid-1990s. So most likely that Ukraine had all the technical documentation for this missile. Furthermore, Ukraine was producing engines and some other components for the Russian KH-35 missiles. There is a very interesting thing about this missile. An exact copy of the Neptune was first observed in 2014 in North Korea. It is locally known as Kumsong 3, Venus 3. Initially, it was thought that North Koreans acquired the Russian KH-35E or KH-35UE missiles. However, after close examination, it appeared that it is not a Russian missile, but is extremely similar to the Ukrainian Neptune. It made its first apparent test launch in 2015 and reportedly demonstrated a range of 200 kilometers. In 2017, during another test launch, the Kumsong 3 demonstrated a range of 240 kilometers. It is unclear how a missile that was under development in Ukraine was tested in North Korea even before its test in Ukraine. There is still some missing link in this whole story, how this North Korean missile was developed. One of the explanations could be that Ukraine contributed to the development of the North Korean Kumsong 3 anti-ship missile. Ukraine is actually among the top 10 military producers in the world and has a far more developed weapons industry than North Korea. Also, Ukraine supplied engines for North Korean ballistic missiles via Russia before. This fact was confirmed by the Ukrainian Space Agency and South Korean intelligence. In terms of performance, the Neptune is generally similar to the Russian KH-35U. It has a planned range of up to 280 kilometers. In 2019, this missile demonstrated a range of over 250 kilometers for the first time. It carries a high explosive fragmentation warhead, which weighs around 145 kilograms. This missile should be efficient against vessels with a displacement of up to 5,000 ton, such as frigates and smaller destroyers. The Nipton will have an inertial navigation system with active radar homing on the terminal stage of its flight. Currently, Ukraine is facing problems developing the radar of this missile. The missile will travel 10 to 15 meters above the surface. In the terminal stage of the flight, it will descend to 3 to 10 meters above the surface in order to overcome hostile defense systems. This missile travels at subsonic speed. It is estimated that due to their subsonic speed that anti-ship missiles can be intercepted rather easily, especially by the advanced defense systems. 
Ukrainians also developed a coastal defense missile system that will carry Neptun missiles. Initially, there were proposals to reuse the aging MAZ-543M heavy high-mobility chassis. Ukraine had a number of these vehicles in storage. The idea was to repurpose them as mobile launchers to carry the new anti-ship missiles. Also, there were proposals to reuse an old radar of the Rubesh Coastal Defense Missile System. Later, it was planned that components of the Neptun Coastal Defense System will be carried by Ukrainian KRAZ 7634NE military truck with 8x8 configurations. And the prototypes were in fact based on this KRAZ chassis. However, the KRAZ company was facing financial hardship and was close to a state of bankruptcy. It could not deliver the required vehicles in time. Deliveries were dragging one year behind schedule. Also, there were reports that the KRAZ chassis showed poor performance results during testing and there were issues with reliability. As a result, the components of the Neptun Coastal Defense Missile System were based on a Czech Tatra 8x8T815-7 series heavy high-mobility chassis instead. Reload missiles are carried on Tatra trucks with a 6x6 configuration. Overall, the new Ukrainian Coastal Defense Missile System could be equivalent to a Russian Ball Coastal Defense System, though not as capable. A typical Neptun coastal defense battery consists of six launcher vehicles with a total of 24 anti-ship missiles. Launcher vehicles can be located up to 25 kilometers from the sea. It takes 15 minutes to prepare this coastal defense missile system for firing. In 2021, a new mineral U radar was revealed. It was specially developed for the Neptun system. It can detect ships at a range of up to 500 to 600 kilometers. Initially, this radar was planned to be based on the Ukrainian KRAZ 7634NE chassis. However, the KRAZ company reportedly could not deliver the chassis in time and was dragging one year behind schedule. Kumsong 3, known as Venus 3, is a North Korean anti-ship missile, which is extremely similar to the Ukrainian Neptun. Though this system appeared a little earlier. It was first observed in 2014. This anti-ship missile is carried by naval vessels and land-based coastal defense missile systems. Its first apparent test launch was made in 2015, when the missile reportedly demonstrated a range of 200 kilometers. In 2017, during another test launch, it demonstrated a range of 240 kilometers.